Hello friends in this video I will tell you how you can create toggle menu in Tkinter. This is a frame with toggle menu button and with a label. See their menu appeared. You can collapse menu. These are menu options you can change or use them as you want. This is a frame with a label and a menu button. This menu button is a toggle menu character you can use image to display toggle menu icon in the description I will provide menu character and icon link. Let's code to create. Here is basic code of Tkinter. Here we are creating a frame it will be appear top of window. This frame will be fill in the X. Now we will resize this frame. Using pack underscore propagate method we can resize frame if you pass false argument to pack underscore propagate method frame will be allowed to you can set frame height and width. Let's set frame height. And also we need to set frame background color for see how frame resized. You can see frame filled in X and also frame resized. And also we will set frame around white color border thickness. Highlight background argument will be specify color of around border. Highlight thickness argument will be specify size of around border. This around border will be useful when toggle menu appear. Now we are creating toggle menu button. Here I will use toggle menu character if you want this character link will be in description and also I will be add toggle menu image icon link in description. We need to remove border of toggle menu button. And when we are clicking button active background and foreground color is not looking good.
We have created toggle menu button. Now we will create title label. Now we will create toggle menu page. For toggle menu page we are creating a frame and also we will resize this frame. We will place this frame in the screen. Notice this frame need to place in the screen if you will pack this frame your window layout can be disturbed. The root window height is 500 we will set toggle menu height 500. In the move on video I will tell you why I have set toggle menu frame only height in a variable. You can see frame placed in the screen but we need to put this frame below in head frame. Now we will display this menu frame when toggle menu button clicked. This menu frame we will put in a function. Now we will talk about for menu frame height why I have set toggle menu frame height in a variable. Before I will move this function and I will put in above. Let's add this function to button. And also I will show you a problem. Let's if I click toggle menu button. See their menu frame appear. Let's run again. Now you will know reason of why I have set toggle menu frame height in a variable. Reason is in case user resize or maximize window. Then the menu frame is not looking good because menu frame height is 500 and the window height is increased by user. Let's solve this problem. For solve this problem we need to get current height of root window. Using root.winfo underscore height method we will get current height of root window. Let's if I maximize window. And then I open menu frame. Now you can see menu frame height is according to root window height.
Now we will work with collapse menu function we can be collapse menu and open menu again. Inside of this toggle menu function we will create collapse menu function. For collapse menu frame we will destroy toggle menu frame. And also when menu frame appear then we will change toggle menu button text into cross character. For the cross character we will use capital X letter. And also when menu frame appear then we will set toggle menu button command to collapse menu function. And also when menu frame collapse then we will change toggle menu button text into toggle menu character. And also after collapsed menu frame we will set toggle menu button command to toggle menu function for open again toggle menu. Now let's test it. Let's if I click toggle menu button. See their menu appeared. Let's if I collapse menu. You can see menu collapsed let's open again and collapse again. It's working fine now we will add options in menu frame. For menu options we will create buttons and then we will place in menu frame. You can see option placed. And also we need to change active background and active foreground color. Same as we will create other buttons.
We have complete this thanks for watching this video subscribe our channel for more videos.